Welcome back to part 4 of the Stardew Factorio Multi-World. If you missed the start of this series, I will leave a link to it in the description. Might start in Factorio today because there's a lot to do here in terms of like getting green science. I think I can get green science going now if I remember correctly. So the first step for greens, greens require solid fuel. Solid fuel requires oil, so I'm going to have to go over here and crack the oil. That's done with pump jacks. Should be able to craft a few of these. I think I have everything I need. Let's go travel south. All right, so we arrived at the oil. I'm a little bit concerned about these biters here, but rather than, eventually I'm gonna make a big wall here and a big wall here. But for now, I'll just do a little wall around the oil to protect it. And that should suffice for now. These are pretty easy. We just place the pump jacks on top of them and then they will start producing oil as soon as I hook them up to power. Place a bunch of turrets around the border and this place should be pretty safe for a while. I need to bring the oil back to the base. Now it's gonna require a lot of pipes. I'd rather use underground pipes all the way back instead of regular pipes. But what I will probably do is auto craft these while I am in, while I do something in Stardew. But I do need more iron so I will have to go back to the base one more time and then I can build the pipe back. And then we should have oil. And it's Easy as that. I need iron. Lots and lots of iron. Fill my inventory up and then craft as many pipe the grounds as I can. I'll let that sit while I go back to Stardew. I'm pretty positive done with everybody's birthday in winter. Yeah, I think I'm done with birthdays in Stardew. I think I'm just gonna go back home, go to sleep, and skip until the night market because I have three Lupini checks. Yeah, I'm just gonna auto sleep until the 15th. But anyway, today is the night market, so I think I just have to wait. Let's see what's going on in Factorio. I need to bring oil back somewhere. All right, and then the pipe to ground should fit alongside these poles. And oil should be flowing back to the base now, so I can take the car back. Bad Factorio doesn't have a return scepter. That'd be nice. All right, for oil, I just need to turn it into solid fuel. There is an intermediate step. I can do solid fuel out of any of these oil products. The best thing to do is advanced oil processing because it takes 100 oil turns it into 55 petroleum 45 light oil 25 heavy oil basic oil processing only does 100 oil into 45 and water is pretty much free so advanced oil processing is always better problem is i think i need fluid handling to do advanced oil processing which is a lot easier to understand anyway all i do is turn the oil into petroleum the petroleum can be turned into solid fuel directly that is making petroleum and petroleum can turn into solid fuel in a chemical plant and the solid fuel be turned into green science packs. Craft a bunch of them by hand for now and start getting some manually done. I think it's time for the night market. So, oh yeah, 8.30, <laughs> I almost missed the night market. Then Lupini check should be a new check. Canadian dialogue pack to quest cap. I guess that's in theme with Captain Canadia, even though Captain Canadia is not Canadia, uh, Canadian. I can buy marble, which I think is a metal detector item. So I think that means it shouldn't deplete the stock size. This time I don't have to ship the marble. I don't have to craft the mar craft the marble brazier. All I have to do with the marble is donate it to Gunther. Start crafting marble instead of bricks. That'd be valuable. Reminds me of Don't Starve where you can grow marble trees. I don't have the gold clock in this world, so I have to actually wait over time. But instead of finding something to do in Stardew, I can just let time pass while I'm in Factorio. All right, next thing here, automating greens. But while I automate them, I do want to get some manually crafting because it will take a little bit to set up. Okay, I've got the factory planner here, so it'll easily tell me what machines I need to craft greens. Like how many of each. And click on this right here. To do two per second, which is what I did for red. I did two per second. Two per second reds was 20 crafters. For greens, I'll need 24 crafters to keep up with the reds. And then it'll tell me how many oil crafters I need, solid fuel, four of them, two green circuit crafters, and then steam engines, like barely any, so I can just steal from the ones over there. It's a really tight setup here, but it should work. So that's eight machines, this is 16, and then this should be 24. Started getting dark, thank you, Mystic. Yep, 720, sure enough. All right, anything useful from Lupini today? We got pet hearts. Oh no, nothing useful. 
Now the water's being turned into steam. I've got the coal belt conveniently right here, so it's powering the machine. Water's being turned into steam. And then what else did I need? I needed copper for the green wire. I just need to research this mine elevator and then I can research spring. All right, I need green cables. Green cables and solid fuel. Solid fuel I've got right there. That'll be easy. Circuits require copper cable and iron. I've got the copper cable right here. I need iron being input right here. And then I can use long handed inserters for the output. All right, that should be working. It should be bringing um, circuits up here on this side of the belt. And on the other side of the belt, I need solid fuel. I need four chemical plants doing solid fuel. Um, Lupini time. Lupini time. <laughs> From Lupini, Land of Clay, I got Lupini, Portrait of a Mermaid. Nice. Can I see the trailing cart today? Trailing merchant's not here today. Oh, I have Ginger Island. I probably have something growing on Ginger Island, right? No, I don't have the island farm. I have access to Ginger Island, but not the island farm. That's right. I have Island North. I don't think it led anywhere important. I hinted the Parrot Express at Harvest Sweet Gem Berry. Oh, Rare Seed is at Fish Sandy... Blue discus which was found so i do have access to the island farm as soon as i grow the rare seed which i'll need to grow in fall so we're going into fall next okay so i think i just go into fall but before i do that we gotta finish doing the green signs in factorio okay so what's holding up greens oh <laughs> i put circuits here instead of green wire I forgot, we need green wire, not electric circuits. So I need more room for those green wire crafters then. In fact, I probably don't even need a belt for the green circuits. I can probably just directly put them into a machine. I only need two. This is why I love Factorial, because I can do stuff like this. Make these really interesting looking designs that are perfectly balanced, because I need only two green cable crafters, so that means one each, one circuit crafter per one green cable crafter. And then I needed one copper cable crafter for two green cable crafters. All right, there we go. Now I have green wires being crafted. Mistake solved fairly easily. Okay, and now I need the solid fuel again. I'm curious if the planner will let me easily do advanced oil processing because it's probably going to be good to do now in the long run. I think this is what I need. I think... Whatever petroleum I'm being is being used from the oil cracking here or the oil refinery, it's being turned into solid fuel. The light oil, it's using that that I'm getting from the advanced oil processing, and then the heavy oil is being turned into light oil, and then all of that's being used here. So I need three crafters for light oil, two crafters for solid fuel. Alright, so three of these are gonna be making solid fuel from light oil. Two of these making solid fuel from petroleum. All right, so it's not as pretty as it was before, but this is using probably five times or four times less oil than the first setup was and getting the same amount of solid fuel, two per second. That's being brought over here for the green crafters. And then I've already got the green wire, turning them into the green science. And of course, I've got lots of science being made now. I need more labs. All right, that's 16 labs. That should be more than enough. Okay, so this should start to go pretty fast now. All of these researches. Um, spring, spring might take a while because I don't have a lot of military. Once I get 500 militaries built up, I'll just put them over there and then it should go quick. But until then, it's not worth it to do spring. I'd rather do something else like friendship bonus. Friendship bonus seems okay just because... That should get me a bunch of friendship points with everybody and then get more checks from doing that, hopefully. Step away from this setup just in case I get a trap. That would be the last thing I want, a trap to destroy my brand new setup there. In Stardew, I think the plan right now is to go into fall. I will just sleep for a week. Once I go into fall, I can grow the sweet gem berry, which will unlock the Parrot Express. That'll allow me to go to the island farm and grow crops of any season there. So any text in Factorial for DLC quest? Oh yeah, good point. Most of them are just called packs, so I guess if I search pack, I should be able to see. There's the mine elevator. Next up in research. Next up is that friendship bonus. See if there is any. 
like super DLC quest. Harmless plants pack that I don't think that's important. Checkpoint pack. Don't know if that's important. Removed ads pack. Uh don't think I see anything too useful. I know the time is money pack is what I need, and I need that from giving Pierre sashimi. That quest in Stardew. So I need spring for that. I think that's how to progress in DLC quest next. I still need to give back Poro some more time. Um, in Stardew, all of my animals hate me. So I need to figure that out. I need to gain their trust again. Okay, and I'm not gonna plant much here. I'm just gonna plant that sweet gem berry. I will start growing everything at the island farm once I unlock that, which will unlock right after I harvest the sweet gem berry. So this is really the only thing I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna do it with Deluxe Speed Grow. Do it right here. I've got a scarecrow right there, so it should be safe. Water it today so it gets a head start and place down that Deluxe Speed Grow. The fish pond seems like it could be the most useful thing for crafting like deep bone puddings. So I'll go ahead and build that somewhere and place it here because I'm going to be moving these sprinklers anyway. And then any checks from Robin that I haven't seen. Night map pack? Benny is night map pack useful in DLC quest? Night map pack is important in end game of first campaign. So I'll need it eventually, but sounds like I don't need it right away. Oh, I haven't caught the night market fish. Yeah, I might have to go back to winter to catch the night market fish, but I will do the traveling cart Sundays. I do want that sweet gem berry to grow. Got the luck bonus from Factorio. And we get Leo hearts. At least they're cheap. And a Jasper for the museum. See, Lewis four hearts. That was from the friendship bonus. Another Lupini painting and follower robot count for Factorio, which is not useful. I learned how to cook lobster bisque. That's a plus three fishing buff. Got progressive trash can here, which means a new check from Clint. Pyrite for the museum. Final traveling cart check. And the special order board. Oh no. We're gonna have to start doing special order quests. Excited for that. That's 11,000 gold. It might be cheaper next week. I'm curious to see if I can get it for a discount next week. I'm gonna wait on that for a second. And the sweet gem berry should be grown now, so let's harvest that just very quickly. Got the Parrot Express from the sweet gem berry, and also harvesting the fairy rose got an upgrade to Factorio. Abigail hearts from harvesting a beet, and progressive science pack. I thought I got all the progressive science packs. Is that for rocket science? Oh, it lets me craft a satellite now, I think. What's the recipe for a satellite? 97 sulfuric acid, 50 uranium rounds magazines, 71 refined concrete, 125 storage chest, 58 uranium, 58 uranium 235. Uranium 235 is super, super rare. Um, but that should, that's not that bad. It'll just mean I'll have to get a whole uranium setup going. And then 140 low density structures and 200 advanced circuits. The uranium's the main challenge there. But the thing is, we only need one satellite to launch with the rocket. We don't need more than one satellite. So that's like a one-time craft. All right, so that's interesting. Progressive mining productivity for Factorio. I might have to sleep a day for the Parrot Express. But while I'm here, let's head up to the key walnut room. Get a reminder on what the tent is. I think it was Pam? No, it's Four Man Frog. He's walnut room. Four prismatic shards. I don't have 50,000 points in Junimo Kart. I think I have the skull key. I guess I can try Junimo Kart. I've never played Junimo Kart before, but maybe it'll be fun. We'll see. I only have one day for that, though. Anytime I've done Junimo Kart, it's just been me trying for like two or three attempts and just giving up so i'm guessing i need to do progress mode we'll see how this goes i may have never played this since it got updated all right so it'll probably take me a few tries to get used to used to this okay i've, I've got a new map layout here that might help it's a little bit easier much easier than that first map was ah why do they have to have the single rails there? At least I got a checkpoint. Levels are long, and there's only one checkpoint? It was endless mode I needed? Oh, for the points? Okay. I see. I think there's still checks from beating the level, just from Ar Archipelago. Let's see what happens if I do beat this level first. 
I can't make that jump right there. We've got one more life, it looks like. Nope. Yeah, I suck at this game. I think I beat it. I got 30 key gems for beating it. 30, the key room is why I came here in the first place. All right, let's see if I can keep going. And then I'll have to do endless mode for 50,000 points just for the key check. Okay, those are definitely some slippery slopes right there. What, how am I supposed to do that madness? What is this? Can I jump all the way to that second platform or do I have to do little hop? I think I have to do little hop. Ah. Oh. All right, that's enough of that. Let's do endless mode. I have no idea if I can get 50,000 points or not. We'll see what happens. Is 50,000 points like really hard? Because I have no comparison. I've never tried this before. Whenever that key quest would come up, I would just um, like skip over it. But apparently there's a check behind it. Uh, already the next level. Okay, 10? almost 10,000 points but now I'm back at the slippery slopes and I die and now I'm back here okay I think I'm gonna have to skip over this check for now until I get better at Junimo Kart but that's not gonna be the way the fastest way to get checks right now I'll come back to it all right ginger island can be accessed the island or the, the farm can be accessed at ginger island now with the paired express anything here Combat level from 20 golden walnuts. Does the Parrot Express have a check? Lava Katana from 10 walnuts. But I've got the Dwarf Hammer here. Should have brought some Mega Bombs, but it shouldn't take long to clear some space here. And I have the Steel Pickaxe and the Gold Axe, so I can at least destroy everything here. And this time, as opposed to what I've been doing in the All Sanity, I'm going to try to organize my crops a little bit. I'll keep the ones that don't regrow together and have the regrowing crops a little bit more organized. All I did for unlocking the farm was get the Parrot Express. The Parrot Express was from harvesting the Sweet Gem Berry. I ended up getting the Rare Seed last time. Last time it was from catching the Blue Discus. It was one of my hints. And then I also have some rice shoots, only two of them. But I definitely haven't grown these because this is a spring crop. That's fine. Fruit trees can go down here. Level 10 foraging got progressive flamethrower. And I don't want to place it up here because there's going to be sprinklers. This next one there, banana sapling there. I need one more ancient seed. One more ancient seed to make things all lined up and perfect. But it was placed right there. Oh wait, new doors. <laughs> I forgot about the most important thing about Ginger Island, new doors. Oh boy. Well, here is the fruit cave. In this one, it's only the fruit bats. If I was playing 5.x, I could have both the bats and mushrooms now. But only fruit for me. We've got Pam's house. Pam's trailer. So, nothing important from the entrances. Although maybe with these fruits, I can complete new bundles. Combat level from 20. Yeah, let's buy the combat level. Skill levels are always good. Auto petter is still going strong with Pierre. Actually, no, it's done. Auto petter is done here, so I can... Uh, <laughs> never mind. I'm going to warp out. I give myself my own random teleport traps here. Oh, they actually don't stand in a lot of these locations here. It's actually safe right at the entrance here. I think just wait for my island crops to grow, and that's really going to be the only way to get a lot of money from the ancient fruit. Infectorio. I still have something researching. But I think for sure now I've got to have enough grays. Yeah, I've got enough grays now. Bring these over here. And then I'll wait for the mine elevator to finish. Why not? And then I will start spring. And I am going to do another winter. I forgot that I was supposed to do the, the night market fish last time. Completely forgot about that. So I will sleep until winter right after doing the traveling cart check. And then I think I'm done with fall. Don't think there's anything else I need to do in fall. I think I'm good with fall fish. Got special orders board, half the cost this time, so that's not bad. Where are the biters biting? I think it's right here. Let's go check on that. I have run out of ammo. Have I just never placed inserters for these gun turrets? Some biters got through though. I hope they I hope they aren't making a base somewhere inside my defenses. Alright, spring should be researching now. 
what I will do is put productivity modules in my labs. That way I get more bang for my buck out of them because I can always place down more labs if I need to. The productivity modules will slow them down, but it'll increase the productivity for 6%. Which means every 100 researches, I will get six free researches. 10 o'clock in Stardew. Perfect timing. Start catching some Midnight Carp. And then I finished researching Spring. What is logistics system? Oh, that's logistics system. We have requester chests now. Now I can request items in a chest. So this is completely useless until I unlock logistic robots. I only have construction robots right now. Tractor garage. Ooh. All right, Lupini, you might have to wait for a second here. The tractor could be nice. I've never used the tractor before. This is my first time using the tractor mod. So I have no idea how it works, but we'll see. And then I also saw a tulip bulb there. That's a new seed. Uh, spring. I wanted to spring because it's new. The poppy got Haley hearts. And then the mushroom tree seed from harvesting the kale. So I'm really, really happy with Haley now. 14 hearts with Haley. Does that mean I get a star drop from her? That might mean I get a star drop from her. I gotta go check about that. Check up on that. Rice should be new. Got the mini obelisk recipe. That's a special orders board reward. That's why it's randomized. I was like, wait a minute. Crafting recipe shouldn't be randomized. That's a special orders board reward. Yeah, I think sleeping through spring, just getting the birthdays done, getting all those new quests is going to be the best thing to do right now. We got a season pass for quest cap. And the island farmhouse from 10 hearts with lewis the island farmhouse is excellent that's two new entrances right there that's really good what does a season pass do i have no clue okay it's in the second campaign and requires wall jump so don't have to worry about that right now we got a letter from the folk at dlc quest they recommend completing pierre's notice don't know what this is but apparently it's great i forgot about that so this helps um Remind me that I need to complete the Pierre's Notice Quest, give Pierre sashimi for the time is money pack. And then I've got the tractor garage now. Found the rice shoot from harvesting the cauliflower. And Mr. Key's hat from harvesting the rhubarb. So nothing too exciting there. Strawberry is traveling merchant for Tuesdays now. So three new checks from there. And then a lightning rod from the cactus fruit. Big sword pack. Big sword pack. I thought I got a big sword pack. I got a really big sword pack. So maybe this is different. Big sword pack. Then a garden pot. But anyway, new door. Gets me over here. Two golden walnuts. And then let's see where this leads. Sebastian's basement. Here's the tractor garage. I'm going to have to go to Robbins to buy that. The island west. <laughs> well, this isn't useful anymore because I have the Parrot Express, but this is where the island west turtle was. Um, I came here for the tractor garage. I'll place it up here. I'm not sure how the tractor works. I know you ride it like a horse. Oh, the tractor is ready. It's definitely scything the grass here. That's interesting. Oh, it hoves dirt. Okay. And then does it... Wow, okay. The tractor is quite powerful. Got the key walnut room from Poor Hearts. So that was accessible pretty early. And of course... Always getting these things from four heart checks, and then laser shooting speed is not important. Wish the tractor could be brought over to Ginger Island. There's a hotkey to summon it anywhere. Oh, the default is backspace? Yep. <laughs> we got the tractor at the island, okay. Okay, that's not too bad, it's pretty fast. Pretty loud. Oh, and then the mini quarry here. mine all these rocks right here. This saves quite a bit of time. You can see why people like the tractor mod. Oh, the tractor in the mines. Oh no. The tractor in the mines is going to be cursed. Tulip got another Lupini painting. I think I can get all the Lupini paintings now. I just need to research the last one here. Then Lupini. That's got to be all nine by now, right? Right, Key's Walnut Room is a new door, and it's gotta be Willy. It was the island house. <laughs> Alright, is Shane still home? Oh, but I'm not good enough friends with him. And keep this window open so we can see when Shane leaves his room. And then I can give him a gift. Shane just left the house? He left the house? Wow, that was quick. Alright, let's go hunt down Shane real quick. I, I could probably catch him in time before he goes to... 
Doja? Does he work on Saturdays? Well, I know he probably works on Saturdays, but does he work when it's raining? Oh, there he is. There you go, Shane. Got the progressive barn and a fishing level. Thank you, Shane. Those are very useful. The final barn upgrade. And the animals here will actually start liking me. Everybody else, I have officially gotten all the friendship checks from, except for marrying everybody. I gotta still get those. 12 and 14 heart checks. They'll be happy eventually after this barn finishes upgrading and they'll be auto fed. Yeah, I can do one hint in Stardew. I don't know what I would hint at this point because there's a lot, a lot to do. A lot is open. And there we go. Time is money pack, which was one of my hints. I think I can get a sword now. Harmless plants pack. Um... You have to unlock the sword? I unlocked a sword though, I'm pretty sure. Kaido says, Cap, you got time is money, so you can get the sword check. Oh, let's see what the sword check was. Cheese press. The time is money pack basically just got me another check, which was the cheese press. Explanation mark, hint, sword. Quest Cap's sword is at Canadian Dialogue Pack in Quest Cap's world. Canadian Dialogue is live freemium or die. I hadn't told you that you can play Live Premium or Die first, you'd been stuck forever. Yep. But anyway, I don't think I can get over to Live Premium or Die because I don't have the pause pack. Hint wall jump pack. Wall jump pack is at 14 hearts with Sebastian. So maybe I should be auto petting Se Se Sebastian. Of course, I need another heart item with Sebastian, but I'm pretty sure there was one from Robin. I think Robin was selling one. I need to make sure I find a space where Sebastian does not stand right here. I guess I'll go into winter for his birthday. Hint, pause, menu, pack. Is that harvest an apricot? There's the flower dance for Chucks. I'll do that. I wonder if Haley will get jealous at me for dancing with Sebastian. Should be a Chuck from here. We've got finish the fight pack. <laughs> I don't know what finish the fight pack does. Only 213 gold in the bank. I hope that's not useful. <laughs> okay. We got artillery, not artillery trap. And that's okay. Artillery is actually something that's useful. Can I go back to the factorio while I'm in this cutscene? Artillery can be connected to a train or just by itself. And it'll take out biter bases for me. Put an artillery shell in. It's gonna fire it at a biter base. Best thing to do is see it on the map there. Oh, I killed the worm. Don't kill the worms, that's such a waste. No Sebastian hearts? I swear Robin had some Sebastian hearts. There are Sebastian hearts in Factorio. Yeah, I can go like this. There's one. I think the other one's coming soon. All right, I love artilleries. Oh, it's going up north. <laughs> Don't go north. Okay. Phew. I thought the biters got smart for a second and we're going to go where I didn't have a wall. But no, they're dumb. They're going to just go to their death. All right, there we go. Two grays per second. And then on the other side of the belt, I'll have blue signs whenever I get around to that. I still need gates. So factorio hint, I might use for gates. Let's try... Hint progressive walls. It's that island ingredients in Stardew Caps world. Island ingredients. I have the special orders board now, but island ingredients is so annoying. It's the one where I have to get a bunch of ginger or taro tubers or pineapples. Got those Sebastian hearts now. This one required three pieces of kale. Got me a lupini. I thought I got all the lupinis, but maybe now I have all the lupinis. I think I'll do a quick little mind run. Quick little mind run here with the tractor. Um, I think I have to spawn the tractor on every floor, right? Uh, but, oh, something's happening in Factorio. Oh, they found their way around. The biters got smart. Come here, biter. Poor little robot was trying to repair, but getting eaten at the same time. The worms aren't going to be happy with me, but I think I can kill them with a grenade very quickly. Or I'm going to die. Or I just make it out alive this time. That works too. Nope, didn't lose any items. What time is it in starter? 6 o'clock? We'll see how far I can make it.
Oh, can I ride the tractor down the ladder? What? This is a game changer. I can ride the tractor down the ladder. I've been doing this foolishly this whole time. I can just stay on the tractor. Floor 120, got 10 key seasoning and traveling merchant for Friday from floor 120. I haven't thought about what season to do next time. I think I said winter for Sebastian. Island ingredients, 100 pineapples. Do I have pineapple seeds? That's the real question. I have pineapples, which I can turn into pineapple seeds. So this quest should be doable. I can just grow a bunch of pineapples. But if I plant 50 pineapple seeds, which is pretty much one like iridium sprinklers worth, I should be good. And we have 48 pineapple seeds. That's the perfect amount to fill this space right here. These ones will grow in two weeks. Let's file for a divorce. Sorry, Haley. Haley got me circuit network, so Haley will be missed, but I need the wall jump pack from Sebastian, so it has to be done. Gotta stay focused on Sebastian right now. Seven days for the 10th for Sebastian's birthday. Sebastian, have an egg. And did that repair our relationship? Yeah, we're back up to 10 hearts with Sebastian. I will actually take that auto petter now. I'll be able to give him gifts once I marry him. I think this is the worst fishing luck I've experienced. I mean, I am kind of setting myself up for failure by just like continuing for the glacier fish here. But maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe I'll reel it in. Something happened in Factorio. Oh, there we go. Easy glacier fish. Got the ostrich incubator recipe, okay. So nothing exciting behind the glacier fish, but at least I caught it. Hopefully I get a chance at a lingcod. I still don't think I've hooked a single lingcod today. This one's a squid. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and I've reached level 10 fishing for progressive worker robot storage. So now our robots in Factorio can hold more items, which is actually pretty good, pretty useful. This one's gotta be a Linkod, because pikes can't be caught up here. Or can they? If it's a pike, I... Okay, it's a Linkod. Fluid handling is at Island Resort? Hold on. Could I have seen this this whole time? Oh boy, love wasting... Oh, it's already 8 o'clock. We did a lot of planning in Factorio there. Fluid handling. Wow. Alright, so I need to grind up some golden walnuts then. 20 golden walnuts for this. Today, I think the pineapples should be finished growing. Let's check over there. There will be another harvest in a week, and then that should be all I need for the island ingredients. Island ingredients will unlock progressive wall. Progressive wall to the last thing we need for blue science. Sebastian's the goal right now. Sebastian at 14 hearts. I've got the wall jump pack or DLC quest. Got potato seeds. Got a few new seeds from factorial researches that I'll have to grow at the island. So it looks like Tuesday's the new day for the traveling carts. So I still have new checks here. This one's a shin sh chain hearts, but I will grab it. The minerals here from the metal detector don't deplete the traveling merchant stock, so those are always worth it. Same thing with the dwarf scroll, which is apparently for free. That's interesting. I don't know if this is supposed to be free, but I'll take it. That one was something new, right? Oh, that was an easy blob fish. We got increased research speed for Factorio, so our labs will work faster. That's nice. It's the Midnight Squid for another train network research. And at this point, the only thing that the train network researches do is braking speed. So the trains can start and stop faster. Wish I had the fiberglass rod. Wondering if the fishing rod would be a worthwhile hint. Because I think I do need to catch the scorpion carp eventually, and I don't know if I can catch the scorpion carp without the trap bobber or not. Like, I bet it's possible, but the Viridium Rod is always really nice. When we got a spook fish. <laughs> I was just talking about the progressive fishing rod. There we go. <laughs> Talk about manifesting. Good thing I didn't hint it. I have my pirate hat. Does that mean I get some free mead? Start should be not too hard. All right, two more games. And that's the second game. Alright, one more time. Need a 20 
Okay, and that's three more golden walnuts right there. We're at eight now. I need 12 more still. Enchanter's bundle gets another inserter. Construction bundle's finished. Elliot hearts. Let's go up to Joja Mart just to see what quality crop bundles I need and if I can just buy the seeds and grow those easily. Berry seeds, pack of those. Hopefully 50 is enough. I need eggplants. I have eggplants growing already. Those regrow, so that's fine. I need kale. I have kale unlocked, so that's good. I guess it's the kale and the fairy roses. Oh, I need rice. Five gold star rice. So let's buy some rice shoots. Oh, I've got a bunch of new crop seeds to grow on the island now. Can't do the frog quest. Can I do... What's the first one? I think melon's the... It goes melon, wheat, then garlic. And I don't have melon. Kale first, and then I can plant the fairy seeds afterwards. I also should have a new sprinkler to buy today. And then I can buy some more pressure nozzles if needed. Let's quickly harvest all of the crops here. Yeah, here you go, Willy. Have a squid. Got melon seeds. Hey, I'll just talk about melon seeds. Melon seeds are good. Uh, I can do the Bombo Big Quest now. There's one for a bundle. And sunflower seed. Sunflower, not as important, but two new seeds are two new checks after growing them, so I'm happy with both of those. Willy always comes in clutch. Yeah, after the all-sanity world, I think I'm fed up with sunflowers. Can I enter the wizards? Well, there's another golden walnut. I needed that. Right, the rice is planted. Start with the kale. And then I'll fill the rest of this place with the fairy seeds. And then once they grow, I can plant more fairy seeds. Harvest the pineapples. And there's progressive wall. Progressive wall is very important for Factorio because it unlocks gate. And gates are an ingredient for blue science. What happens if I have the hoe and... Yeah, get to hold these winter forgeables here real quick. Factor's a bit overpowered, I think. Got a bunch of new crops here. Let's harvest everything. Got the plenty of gold star kale now, so that's good. I also wanted to plant the rest of the fairy seeds. So I'll do that. I think I can plant the seeds with the tractor, right? I can. That's nice. I hope it's all going into the water. I did get the five gold stars that I needed, though. That's the only thing that's important. I think winter, I got the squid, I got the ling cod, I even got the glacier fish, I did the night market fish. Don't think there's anything else needed from winter. I think we can say bye to winter forever. Summer for octopus and dorado and crimson fish. Sure. I think I need to go into spring again for the morel, but I can do that later. Start with summer. Seems like a fine plan. And I can just find Sebastian first thing in the morning. And propose to him. Give him the mermaid pendant. And we'll marry him in a few days. We're slowly eliminating all of the bachelor and bachelorettes. Leia's missing. Haley's missing. That's 100 red, 100 yellow, 100 green, 100 orange, 100 blue, and 100 purple. Got a zombie sheep for DLC quest. I think I have the sword at least so I can kill the zombie sheep. But yeah, let's load into... Or not. Or it'll just spawn kill me. That works as well. That's fine. I know the ruby's here. The aquamarine was north. What did I not do here? Topaz. There we go. And now we can buy... Fluid handling. Should be right here. Fluid handling, 20 golden walnuts. Alright, well there's the wall jump pack from 14 hearts. That's all I wanted Sebastian for, so I think it's time to divorce him pretty soon. What I should probably do is put all of my stuff in a chest, just in case I die while I'm in DLC quest. So if I put everything away, I should be safe from that. Yeah, we can jump off walls now. And get up here, see where this leads. I still have this loading screen thing, and apparently this is the dark zone. Maybe there's a pack that gets lights for it? But it looks like there are some spikes here that I'm gonna have to avoid. Okay, it looks like the, this was from the checkpoint pack. I've got checkpoints now. Please add world. Maybe there's a DLC in order to get this. I think there was something I can buy with more coins so I can at least get that. So be careful about all these spikes here. This area is dark because our art director says silhouettes are artistic. Turn back great danger ahead. I think that means we keep going forward. 
got a cutscene here. A bunch of zombie sheep. Wonder if those plants were from a pack and it was a random unlock. And then if I didn't have them, I would have died. That's my thought at least. Oh, I'm killing this guy. Is that it? Is that all I do up there? Or am I getting progression here? Did I win the game? I'm so confused. Okay, I was about to say. Error 307, lost connection to server. Oh, this is actually an error. I thought this was like a joke in the game, but no, I'm actually getting an error from Archipelago. Strange, not sure what's going on here with the LC quest. Nope, I'm back now. I'm so confused, what's going on? Um, I'm back at the start here, that's fine. I've got my coins. I jumped into the spikes, that's fine. I just need to go back into Factorial and grab my body. Oh, there's a pack right there that I missed. That's good. The packs are the checks. I'll do some more exploring and DLC quests. Again, I'm kind of going back and forth between all the games here. Got bridge repair. That's a new door from Harvesting the Red Cabbage. That's actually really good. Up oh, the merchant's gone. It's now a digital store. Interesting. We've got a sword. Quest cap sword. Oh, I needed this for the first DLC quest, right? This is the sword for the first DLC quest. That's actually super important. Let's buy that right away. And then shooting speed for Factorio. Not important, but I'm going to get it. I, I think I hinted that. And, it, and I remember it being at the Canadian dialogue pack, which I need to wall jump before. But it's actually the thing that was actually really essential. Okay, I it sounded like Benny said there's more in the dark area to the top left, but I believe there's also more stuff if I go down this way. Lots of new coins. We're just gonna rack up the deaths and then hopefully it'll be okay. These ones are a little bit more tricky to grab. But it looked like there was a secret right there. The wall was like open. Yeah, I guess that's it from this zone. But let's go check out what that new pack is before I go recover my bodies. Evelyn hearts for 10 gold. Okay, blue science time. Blue science, might as well just place it right next to the gray science here. I also need submachine guns. I can do that right here. These ones were pretty simple. They just need copper, iron, and iron gear wheels. So that's 8, 12, 16, 20. And then I need to double this setup right here. That seems like a whole lot, but that's gonna create two science packs a second, which is how much I'm doing with all the other ones. Benny said there should be something else in that dark zone. It looks like there should be something right here. That's a comedy pack. Okay, I did get something new. What do we get? We got a rare crow. A rare crow for Stardew. But I think there's a check for collecting every rare crow, so I guess that could be useful. And then the... I think that's it for the submachine guns. The submachine guns are one of the... Oh! <laughs> There's the artillery trap. I completely forgot about that. But look at how nice the robots are. They just instantly repair everything for me. Okay, I'm not worried about up there right now. As long as we get some blues going, I'm happy. Okay, gates are being transported. That's good. I'm just weighing on the heavy oil. I should be good once I connect this pipe. Okay, pipe's connected. And they're just going kind of slow because I don't have a whole lot of iron. I should probably expand my iron setup. That's why we need so many of those machines because the blue science pack takes a long time to craft 24 seconds as opposed to the other ones take like 10 or 12 seconds. All right, first blue science, there we go. Then we bring them over to this belt to be combined with the gray science. Okay, and then of course I need to actually research something blue. Might start with that fishing level because that's something I know will be useful. Yeah, I guess I can go back up to that sheep area. What happened here? Status banned. Let's see you buy your way out of this one. So I guess I need a random check until I can access this area again. So I guess it's back into the first campaign then. We actually have a sword now in this one. Can I kill the sheep? Oh, and I have the double jump pack. I forgot about that. Now nighttime in the forest, you will need to buy the night version of the map to access the other side. I thought I had, oh no, I need the gun pack for this. Okay. 
I got the gun pack notification, so that means there's a new pack I can buy, which would be the gun pack, but of course it's random. This one's the zombie pack. So I think I pretty thoroughly explored this area here. Hey, there's progressive house from the zombie pack. Five coins only for a house upgrade. Let's buy it. Might as well buy the well and do a big community center run. The fairy rose for here. Five gold star fairy roses got a foraging level. So I could probably craft rain totems now, which might be nice. Got a mushroom tree seed from the lake fish bundle. Ice pip. Ice pip and goat cheese are both doable. I still don't have blue jazz seeds. I have the red cabbage now. Five gold star eggplants. And I don't know if I have amaranth seeds. Five gold star rice. I still don't have parsnip seeds or wheat seeds. Truffle. I should have some cheese at home. Caviar. I need to catch a sturgeon before summer ends. Oh, and the octopus is actually needed in a bundle. So that bundle is actually a bit tricky. And then apple. I still don't think I have the apple sapling. There's still a few things where I don't know where they are. But for now, I do want to go after that octopus while it's still, still summer. Because I'm going to be moving into spring next month. So the last things to do in summer are the octopus and sturgeon. Alright, this one might be it. Okay, that one was a lucky octopus. That one was giving me a tough time at times, but it ended up being not too bad. Low density structures. Low density structures are actually an ingredient in Factorio that I need for rocket parts. I don't know if it's randomized at all, but they are an ingredient that are probably needed for one of the very, very late game things. But yeah, besides that, I still have that seafoam pudding going, so let's um go for the scorpion carp real quick. This one's the scorpion carp. Scorpion carp's actually not too bad with a huge fishing bar like this. The small fishing bar, it's awful because it like moves around, but like it's actually not too bad with the huge fishing bar. So easy scorpion carp got cliff explosive. I was just talking about cliff explosives. <laughs> so the octopus and the scorpion carp were actually both really good finds. I remember these were needed in the winter foraging bundle, so I will just drop them off right away. All right, this one sh should be the sturgeon. All right, and the only thing I needed the sturgeon for was the fish pond. I need to turn the sturgeon row into caviar for a bundle. Lava eel is not that bad once I... Oh, there it goes. All right, yeah, lava eel, not too bad. It can be a bit shaky. Definitely harder than the ice pip to, like, in terms of catching. All right, goat cheese, ice pip. We got progressive automation. What does progressive automation do for Factorio? Is that the next assembling machine? Because if it is, that's actually really nice. Um, it is. I don't have space in my inventory, though. Large milk finishes spring crops. Got a solar panel from it. Egg for quality crops. Still need that other stuff. Cheese finishes summer crops. Got additional laser shooting speed. And then I just need the caviar for the winter foraging bundle. I got those three really tough fish finally. Last fish needed is the super cucumber and legend. Now yeah, we got some biter bases pretty close out there. Probably six o'clock in Stardew. There's some bubbles. Haven't gotten my fix of bubbles in a long time, so I'm happy to find these right here. But let's fish until, I guess, 10 o'clock for the festival. And I won't catch it if it's not the super cucumber. Yeah, this one's got to be the super cucumber. Hopefully. It is Super Cucumber. We got another inserter upgrade for Factorio. Yeah, we can get the seafoam pudding, and then that's really it from the festival here. We're going into spring next. Spring for the legend, for the morel, and for, I guess, those special orders quests if I really feel like doing those. Come on, legend. Oh, uh, wow. I was ready to give up there, but I'm holding on. <laughs> oh, finally. Wow. That had to be the... It was an extra life for Junimo Kart. So this means we're doing Junimo Kart next, right? That was probably the most intense fishing battle I've ever had in Stardew Valley. There was some close calls there, but finally caught it. Okay. Caviar got garlic seeds which is a new check i haven't had garlic yet and i get five golden walls from the bomb of frog but i don't think garlic was needing it needed in any bundles okay so what's new here progressive processing for factorio mining level mining level is nice i think that means mining level nine and then a teleport trap for factorio oh boy okay well i'll buy the armor for your horse pack 
for the progressive processing, see what that does. And then a teleport trap. Hopefully I'm not by... Alright, that's how we're ending today. Teleport into the biter base. Despite my best efforts, I wasn't able to recover my body, so all those free samples I had on me, including my tank, are lost to the void. Oh well, next time for Factoria, we'll set up purple and yellow science and work towards launching that rocket. For Stardew, we are nearly done with the community center and just have a few crop seeds that we may end up hinting. For DLC quest, well, I have no clue. But it looks like we need something called a name change pack for the second campaign and a gun for the first. That'll wrap up part four. Look forward to part five coming soon. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.